February 12th, 2015. And I have 759. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Madam Clerk, could you call the roll? Here. 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 Present. And Madam Clerk, have we met all of the requirements of the Open Meetings Law? Yes, we have. And we can begin with citizens' comments. <coughs> we should know that we're starting off at 8 o'clock. Good evening, Sandy Hahn, West 230, South 3827, Lucky Way Road. Didn't have anything prepared for this meeting, um, but I did want to respond to some of the comments that were made in the last session. Um, I'm confused, and I might challenge um, the planner's suggestion that we have we can have two site plans. I'd be interested in the attorney's um, opinion on that. But I looked at the submission, and the thing that's submitted, because it reads funny, it reads like it's half the whole thing and it's half just for the additional piece. But the submission says property area is 31.86 acres and um, goes on and describes the north boundary as Highway 59. And so, and the existing part is a softball and baseball complex. So to suggest that we're going to now have two plans of operation and we're going to have two hours of operation for for the hours from 6 to 11 or 7 to 10.30. I'm very confused by that, and I don't think it makes sense. Um, there was a suggestion that the building, it's gone, I guess, um, wasn't visible, or wasn't much visible or whatever, um, and I would dispute that. It's actually quite visible. I've been looking where it would be every day when I drive to work and back, and every one of the lots that's in the old Moyer property on Moyer Way would be looking right at the walls of this building, and everyone on the hill on the east side of Milky Way would be looking at the building. So the fact that it's hidden from the highway is true, but <clears throat> excuse me, it's not hidden from anything to the east. There's a suggestion that the DNR is okay with the wetland situation if the building drains away from the wetland. And the maps that I see, and the rendering that I saw on, on the poster board there, um, looked to me like it was going to drain to the south, which I would take to be the wetland. So unless someone can explain to me something different, it looks to me like the long edge of the building is on the north and on the south, and it would drain to the south. So those are my comments. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else? We can move on. Item number five, plan commission items, discussion and possible action on the site plan and plan of operation amendment for Peters Real Estate, Inc. Applicant is Dent Wizard. Location South 17, West 22650, Lincoln Avenue. I'll move to accept the um, recommendation of the plan commission for approval with the conditions noted. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. On to B, discussion and possible action on the site plan, plan of operation amendment. Uh, for Merrill Hills, owner is Jack Gaudian. Applicant is John Rodell. Location is West 270, South 3125 Merrill Hills Road. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the site plan and plan of operation. Um, with the um, provisions on there as per the plan commission's recommendation. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion opposed? Motion carries. Uh, to see the recommendation from the plan commission was to table this action uh, until some further research is completed. I just make one a comment on that I the planning commission level voted nay. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. Um, I don't think we're compelled to act on that, whether 
the majority of the board feels comfortable with taking a motion to table that's fine or no action, I think it ends up being the same thing. That's my comment. Is there a motion? Seeing that, we'll move on. Approval of minutes from January 22nd, 2015. Do we have one correction? Um, in the minute, in the um, approval of the uh, payments, the payments for 2015 should have been $95,809.60. It was a typo. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for January 22nd with the um, correction that our clerk had noted. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. On to reports. Financial report from the clerk. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fisher. Just a couple of very quick things, really more of a preview of coming attractions than anything else. You may recall that we were looking at basically 11 things that we need to do in terms of developing a plan for managing the financial resources of the town of Waukesha, including uh, the establishment of a capital fund, which we did back in December, uh, developing a capital plan. Um, we took at least the first step toward that at the last meeting when Chief Buchholz presented a long and short-range capital plan for the fire department. I believe the Supervisor Durr has been working hard with um, our Director of Public Works, Jerry Noli. Not to get ahead of ourselves, but I think we may be looking at that at the next meeting, at least a preliminary pass on some of those things. Um, I know that our town auditor and our town attorney, Attorney Basie, have been providing us with guidance on some of the mechanics um, as we move forward regarding um, moving uh, funds, expending funds, things of that nature. We're not going to get into that tonight, but there's a lot of mechanics of that that needs to be sorted out, so that will be unfolded as we move forward. A um, couple of other things just quickly to ponder. I think we may want to give serious consideration in the future with trying to make more financial information available to town residents on the town website. Not prepared to discuss that or make any recommendations in detail tonight, but we'll take a look at that. I know we am buying just a bit of time, but Clerk Treasurer Nicholas comes back. She'll tell you a little bit that they're heading downstream with the audit and with our new accounting software. So just pause, good things coming. Thank you. And Clerk Nicholas. All right, well we hope to be going upstream instead of downstream, but the um, past two weeks we've been prepping for the 2014 budget. Baker Tilly was on premise this week working. In addition, we've been working on the next uh, election cycle. We've completed two, we've completed the first tax collection in the county and today should be our last uh, day for refund checks for um, tax overpayments. We had a lot of extra um, overpayments this time due to the reduction of taxes. Uh, the Board of Review training is set for April 29th and we're going to be hosting. Uh, Jeremy Macy will be doing the training and we've opened it up to other municipalities in the county to join us. Um, I'll send you all an email on availability and just save yourself a seat. April 29th? April 29th. I had some public, count, uh, public records this week, uh, this uh, month, and Van Sack as a four part um, uh, public records request. Uh, letters written to property owners on the town regarding non compliance, compliant information, memos, memos between the independent inspections in the town. This part of the public records request I have not completed uh, gathering the information on, but as soon as the election's over, I'll work on it again. Uh, the other part was uh, emails between independent inspections in the town board pertaining to letters of noncompliance from January 1, 2014 to January 27, 
Um, I received emails from independent inspections, but I haven't had time to make sure that they're all complete and will again continue that work after the election. Uh, bills, records from independent inspections billed to the town from the same date, that date range, that portion is complete. Um, and all non-compliance reports from that same date are complete as well. So out of the three, out of the four parts of that public records request, I have two completed, and we'll continue to work on the other two after this election. Um, John Merrick asked for candidate contact information. That was complete. Andy Van Sack requested for a full annexation spreadsheet created and maintained by the assessor, and that's been completed. We've been working on a vendor email notification for documents placed on the website. Uh, this notification will allow the, uh, uh, a person to be alerted when a new agenda or minutes have been placed on the website. Um, we are in the test mode currently. Anyone interested in joining the testing uh, can do so. Um, once the testing is complete, notification will go up on to the website and in our next newsletter. After a review of our court procedures, I found the town in the past has not collected money from tickets kept at the court fund for the town. I requested a $15,000 um, return of funds to the, to the town and uh, leaving $7,000 to cover any administrative costs to the, um, to the court. And that's my report. Thank you. Any questions for Clerk Nicholas? 